Hey guys, so this is my last club video, and this is my favorite, favorite, favorite book. I'm starting to talk about it. Excuse me. And it's called The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. This book, oh, when I first read it, it scared me. Mainly because, um, in the book, uh, the family's last name is Walker. My last name. And, um, the girl that dies, her name is Bailey. <laughs> so, a girl named Bailey Walker dies. And, oh my god, it freaked me the fuck out. I just cursed. I had to tell my friends that I've lost No Swear November. Crap. That's where that was! I'm an idiot. Um, so, the sky is everywhere. I will read the inside flap. 17-year-old Lenny Walker, bookworm and band geek, plays second clarinet and spends her time stuck safely and happily in the shadow of her fiery older sister, Bailey. But when Bailey dies abruptly, Lenny is catapulted to center stage of her own life and, despite her non-existent history with boys, suddenly finds herself struggling to balance two. Toby was Bailey's boyfriend. His grief mirrors Lenny's own. Joe is a newborn in town, a transplant from Paris whose nearly magical grin is matched only by his musical talent. For Lenny, they're the sun and the moon. One boy takes her out of her sorrow and the other comforts her in it. Comforts her in it. But just like their celestial counterparts, they can't collide without the whole world exploding. Just as much a celebration of love as it is a portrait of loss, Lenny struggles to sort her own melody out of the noise around her is always honest, often hilarious, and ultimately unforgettable. <sighs> I cried during this book, okay? And not because I died. I make it. It's <coughs> joking. I made this way too personal, to be honest. And I was like, oh my god, it's an omen, I'm gonna die. Whatever, I'm 18. Um, I need to grow up. Um, but when I don't want to ruin it. If you have not read this book and you don't want me to ruin it, stop watching because I'm about to ruin it. Um, when I find out that, I mean, obviously I already knew, but when Joe finds out that Lenny and Toby, you know, uh, my heart broke. I cried. I was like, Lenny, you're such a stupid person. I was so sad. It made, me, it made me sad, you know? It's like, he's so good to her, and he really cares about her, and he really wants to help her, and then she just, she does that, and, you know, she's talking about how she feels bad about him, but she keeps doing it, and she's like, oh, I just, I'm so conflicted, I'm just like, god damn it, no you're not, I just cussed again, oh my gosh. Um, and she's just, it made me so sad, it's like, poor Joe, because Joe, you know, what was her name? Oh, solo page? No, that's somebody else's name. I don't remember. But his Joe's ex girlfriend did the same thing, cheated on him. And, you know, he was talking about how he didn't want that to happen again, how he really felt something special with her. And when he found out, I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> and she's like obsessed with um Wuthering Heights. I always said that name wrong. I always said like Wuthering Heights. I have it on the bookshelf over there somewhere, I think. It might be in my bin in my closet. I'm pointing to my closet. This is up there. My mirror. It's right. But for you guys, it might not be. If you have not seen the Willow video, go watch it because. My camera bag was sitting on my bookshelf over there, and it fell down all on its own. Like, freaked me the heck out. So I suggest watching that and seeing my face. Oh my god, that candle smells so good. If you haven't seen my haul video that I posted tonight, yes, today, sorry, I filmed it right now, five minutes ago or something, but I talked about Mary Mistletoe, like, oh my god, it smells so good, it's like Christmas. And I'm sick and I can smell it, so I'm really happy about that. So, so good. Um, 
what I have to do tonight. I have to reorganize my makeup, which means unpack it, make it look neat again. Ooh, candle. Um, I have to charge my phone, wash my face, unpack my clothes, avoid eating any more candy. About it. That's a good idea. Especially those cat chocolate covered espresso beans. My stepdad. Oh my god. Got me here. So, this is where it goes in like little candy things. And this is filled with um, chocolate covered cappuccino espresso beans and Reese's Pieces. And the way I eat Reese's Pieces is. Oh. Can you give me another one tonight? I got this one a week and a half ago. So much of it. He gave me this one tonight and it had sour candies in it and then more Reese's Pieces. And the way I eat Reese's Pieces is I pair them up. One, one. I eat it like that. My jaw hurts right now. Ear problems. So, all this candy. I my stepdad and I have to avoid eating it and I just ate some. Good plan. Oh my god. Circa. 2006? That's a, a Hannah Montana song. Wow, I need to clean my iPod. I actually haven't deleted any songs since ninth grade. Yeah. I have a lot of songs. I'm actually going to go do a, another video. That's three, four, I'm going to do five videos tonight. I. No, I'm not. Did I talk about the book in this video? Yes, it is. I am so scrambled today, tonight. So yeah, I'm actually gonna film. Okay, so I have the three books haul. Yeah, I'm gonna go do a music one, and then I'm gonna do another video, which is a surprise because kind of depressing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Bye guys.